Today we'll be reviewing landmark papers in necrotizing soft tissue infection from the EAST Landmark Papers in Trauma and Acute Care Surgery online resource. We identified several papers pertaining to the diagnosis of necrotizing soft tissue infection. This well-cited study discusses one of the most widely used scoring systems to assist with early diagnosis of NSTI. This validated scoring system, the Lorenic score, is based on laboratory values found to be independent predictors of disease and can be used to guide management. This was a smaller retrospective review by Wall and colleagues to help distinguish between necrotizing and non-necrotizing infection. They found a model that was simple, highly sensitive, with a negative predictive value of 99% for diagnosing necrotizing infection. This tool may be useful when other laboratory parameters, such as those required for the Lorenic score, are not available. In terms of the role of CT scan, while CT scan should not delay operative intervention for NSTI, this study finds that it may be a useful adjunct for ruling out the diagnosis of a necrotizing infection. In terms of the management of NSTI, this well-cited study by Leslie Kobayashi and colleagues found that a delay in surgical intervention for more than 12 hours contributes to higher mortality, septic shock, and renal failure, and is associated with an increased number of debridements than patients whose initial debridement is less than 12 hours after admission. Similarly, this study, which was a smaller retrospective review, found that early surgical debridement leads to a significant reduction in mortality highlighting the importance of early recognition and expeditious initial debridement in the management of NSTI. And finally, for the role of hyperbaric oxygen as adjuvant therapy in the management of necrotizing soft tissue infection, there is no consistent evidence to support the routine use of hyperbaric oxygen as an adjunctive therapy in the management of NSTI, and these findings were actually corroborated in a recent Cochrane review that failed to locate relevant clinical evidence to support or refute the effectiveness of hyperbaric oxygen in the management of NSTI.